Hey Sag, how are you doing? This reading is for Sagittarius for the week of June the 24th to the 30th. Sun Moon Rising and Venus Signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Sag, if you're new to my channel, I'm a Sagittarius Venus and your Venus sign is your creativity, it's your passion, it's your love, it's your money, etc. I also have three placements of Sag in my chart, so I get you guys, I feel you guys, I'm here for you guys. This is a safe place to be, so chill out, relax, and enjoy the reading. What is going on for the magical and most fabulous Sagittarians? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the Three of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What's coming towards you? The Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What you are focused on is the Sun, Major Arcana 4, Leo. In your blocked and challenged position is the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And your outcome is the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay, Sagittarius, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you have the world. Completion, closure, wrapping up some kind of karmic cycle, freedom, and success. That can also be travel, change, relocation, and move. Freedom, unconditional love, and you. March into the beat of your own drum. Not giving a flying flip-flop to the flip of what anyone thinks of he or she. Taking action, being bold, and flexibility. I like it present time you have the three of swords this is like healing and returning to good health from something that made you really sad or hurt your feelings sag you could also be breaking some hearts and you have new love coming in or this is a need for you to mend your broken heart have unconditional love for self because when you are able to love yourself wholly and fully what do you think you pull in so within so without so there's some kind of sadness or heartbreak here and the emperor major arcana for aries also read that as scorpio some kind of commitment or connection. There also could be something to do with like an authority figure or law and order. So king of swords in your blocked and challenged position could be like a judge, a lawyer, a doctor, an attorney, or somebody who is really smart, has the cases of the smarty pantses, or could give you some kind of great advice or insight. There's something about paperwork or communication here. Because this is the ultimate truth. The facts. And something about work. Or um, possibly your father. But this speaks of like law and order. And that can be law and order as well. So something about maybe... Divorcing a job and taking something new or having freedom, like truth coming out. The emperor can be a little bit controlling. So if there is some kind of control factor here, like wanting power and control, this person is coming from a place of fear and hurt and pain. So let's see what this Ace of Cups is. Peace, harmony, unconditional love, birthing something new. It can be tapping into your intuition. Or there's returning to good health and healing here. Returning to, to full bars. And the Strength card. Major Arcana 4, Leo. Could be dealing with a Leo. Or it's inner strength you have this more braver more stronger or more courageous and making peace with where you are in life which is actually attracting in more love more support and more freedom this is also travel change 
fun in the sun, vacation. Or like some kind of strong intuition or a strong pull here. A strong person you were pulling in. But it feels like a strong healing. So here, you could um, be worried about a person here. I also feel like there could be an emperor, like somebody who owns, like a CEO or a boss, like stepping down and you getting this offer. Like they might be having health issues. Let's see what this sun card is. The sun card is the most positive card in the deck. So anything you give positive attention to here, Sag, will grow and will thrive. And the death card. Wow. Change, transition, and a transformation. And this can be a smooth change or transition here, Sag. That's if you go with the flow. So freedom and some kind of ending to a commitment. But there's something strong being pulled in here by you. Or something about you needing to be brave and bold. There's power here. It feels like somebody is trying to hush you. Like see how this is like, you know, somebody is like, shh, don't say anything. Or maybe that's you. You're not expressing something right now. Again, oh, that that's that King of Swords. Yeah, this is like um, the facts. Yeah, it's like birthing something new. Because see how this death card, she's pregnant in this picture. But there's the sun in the background. So something new here, Sag. It's about being in the spotlight. Or getting or receiving a lot of attention, energy. Yeah, an ending of a commitment, but it's setting you free and there's like a strong love or a desire and it could be something to do with work and career. Um, this can also have to be like a strong like masculine because this is very masculine energy, but you could be dealing with somebody who is cold and standoffish, ice cold. Let's see what this King of Swords is. Or paperwork. There's something about this paperwork. And the Page of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. And the Page of Cups is somebody who's smitten like a kitten. Or there is a secret admirer. Some kind of secret. See, hush. Secret. New love. King of Swords, because King of Swords and Child. So there's something about a child here. Fertility, children. And it's like coming full circle. Um, some of you have stayed in a relationship because there is children. I feel like there is an apology coming forth here. Whether it's you or another person, King of Swords. It might be a water sign or an air sign here. But that can also be like a surprise, a gift, an apology. Or there's um, somebody who has like um, deep feelings for you. This person doesn't act like it. But this person could be like smitten like a kitten. Or somebody admires you. Knight of Swords, communication coming in out of left field, or sudden change in focus, the get up and go energy, this is fast moving energy, Gemini Taurus energy, it can be a little bit blunt and forceful, or don't rush anything, if there is paperwork that you need to sign, make sure that you handle it, because you could miss a step, let's see what this King of Wands is, King of Wands, taking action, you know, a warrior, a leader, somebody who's very charming, good looking, 
and the Ace of Cups. Holy. Holy love. So there is some kind of like unconditional love. This could be a fire sign. Specifically a Leo. But there's an ending with a Leo. <laughs> or an ending in July. June, July. With a commitment. So there's a commitment that needs to go. And then it's like shh, new love. Um, this is baby as well. Baby. Baby and baby. This could be getting a new fur baby. Or giving birth to your dreams. Here. Putting yourself out there. Which is going to require a change. This can also be like change in love. Oh, a change in heart. But this is feeling super duper good. Like this is getting really good news. There's a child here. Queen of Pentacles climbing the ladder. Something's coming to fruition here for you, Sag. Um, who is this? Something about... I don't know if you're getting a job position here or there's something about a father or somebody you work with. Um, you, you got to break hearts here. I'm sorry. Breaking somebody's heart in order for you to have what it is that you love unconditionally. Like, look, that's this is matching. It's mirroring. And here with the dragonfly, truth transcends illusion. So if there has been anything that has been in the dark, wow, because this is like smitten like a kitten or somebody who acts like they um, don't have feelings for you or you have deep feelings for a person, but there's no expression yet. And for some of you, I just want to say because there's two ace of cups, um twins like it's mirroring or this is a twin like a twin flame I don't really talk about that kind of stuff because I feel like people get really wrapped up in it and you know focus so much on twin flame that they're not doing anything in their own life because they're so focused on what that other person is doing so I kind of feel like it's not as healthy create your own create your vision do what makes your heart sing you are being nudged for forward you are being nudged forward yeah you have one one three three one, one, three, three. Cosmic Pearl. Expand your psychic gifts. Right there. Strong telepathy. Clear channeling. Open the gate to the angelic realms. There's a door opening. See this new portal? Cosmic Ruby, be a peace ambassador, practice cosmic mastery. And this yellow energy, this is solar plexus energy. It means sensuality, sexuality, sensuality, but expression of your true nature and not shying away from it. Shower of blessings, open yourself to receive Pay it forward. Um, for some of you, this is this situation. So it's like a contract um, job situation or somebody is going to apologize to you. I don't know what that is. Or somebody has a child with someone and then there's like new love coming in at the same time. It's like back to back. But this love is mutual. Bird flying news it's on its way. Oh, and it's delicious. It's good news. 
great time to go out and have fun. That sun card. For a change, you're going out and having fun, all right? Needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. Tanker, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Wow, this is an unreal week for you. And onwards, you have three, three, three. So a lot of threes showing up. Quail, get back to the basics. Yeah, anything complex must go. For some of you, this is you quitting your nine to five job. You don't want to work for your boss anymore. Uh, there's too many rules or this person is just cold as ice or very standoffish or emotionally unavailable. Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Even if somebody is against you here, Sagittarius, and you're doing something for yourself, you just have to look at it as that's a them problem, not a you problem. Sunrise, new creative ideas, new venture, a fresh start. Oh, this is like a breath of fresh air or, a, or like a, rec um, a really cold glass of water. <laughs> like it's just quenching your thirst. And some of you need to drink more water. Yeah, because it's sun, 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 and sun, right? So you're being out in the sun a lot, drinking more water. Don't dehydrate yourself. Clouds, temporary situation. Throne, position of authority. Worry, or whale, great worry over nothing. And moon changes in your life. Wow. Sagittarius. And that can be like a new, strong opportunity. There's a change here, but it could be you getting this throne. Needle and thread, a sincere wish will be granted. So for some of you, this is like new love or somebody who is like a warrior. There's a strong masculine presence. Like a lot of, there's so much masculine energy here. So if you're always taking action, 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 um, don't forget to lean back in the feminine energy. That's what the water element is. So it's like a nice balance back and forth. So see, again, the nice balance back and forth. Scorpio energy is ruled by Mars. Um, Leo is a feminine energy, so like C. So just watch that. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.